Well, there's still no clear date for when affected businesses inside the Navy, the NEX exchange, could reopen. Talking about businesses inside the food court. One of the restaurant operators says they're losing a whole lot more than just money. Max Rodriguez tonight follows up. These businesses have been shuttered for nearly three months, and a business owner tells me he would like clear communication with the Navy in order to know when they can finally reopen. It's not been an easy few months for Rob Merring. He's one of the operators of the Dairy Queen location inside the Navy Exchange Food Court. It's depressing. You know, I try not to come up just because it's, you know, just depressing. I mean, I see so many people, you know, friends that are up here, and, you know, they're just, are, especially my employees, they're begging to come back. They just, they don't want to be at home. He says he's kept some of his senior employees on payroll, but had to let go of his part-time seasonal employees. Tuesday morning, Senator Maisie Hirono spoke to business owners who have been affected by the Navy's water contamination. I'm hopeful that, that the Navy that has taken responsibility for Red Hill will uh, develop a system where businesses, not just the, those that are contracted with the Navy, can submit their claims and get some redress. Even businesses that have stayed open, like Ruby Tuesday at the Moanalua Shopping Center, have spent their own money on mitigation efforts. We are in the $20,000 range, over $20,000. And that's just purchases of water, soft drinks, and ice. That has no figures of labor. Marion says he is also asking for more direct communication from the Navy. We're just going to be given the runaround, and the Navy will hope maybe they'll get tired and bored or run out of money and just stop bugging them. And so that's basically what we wanted from the senator. If they could just have somebody in the Navy that we could contact to that wouldn't push us off. The Navy says it continues to work with the interagency drinking water system team, adding claim information has been made available to those affected. Max Rodriguez, KH1 News, working for Hawaii.